Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Welcome back everyone on this Saturday evening. Hopefully you had a really nice start to the weekend. Lots of sunshine today. Those temperatures well into the 50s. Felt pretty nice for us, right? Here's a look at Dallas and Misericordia University this evening. Things have been pretty quiet here. We've just had an increase in some cloud cover as we've gone throughout this evening. Also here in Dixon City, Lackawanna County, kind of the same idea as well. Still can't roll in a few raindrops here and there, but for the most part, we are just continuing with a mostly cloudy sky for this evening. Here's a look at the radar. You can see for the most part, we have a weak area of low pressure moving through the area tonight. That's really just bringing us a few rounds for a few raindrops. That's basically about it. Otherwise, we are going to have the cloud cover around as we go throughout tonight, and you can see that weak disturbance moving through Pennsylvania right now. But behind that, though, we are going to see conditions improving, especially as we go throughout our Easter Sunday. Wind speeds today weren't too bad. We saw those anywhere from around 5 to 10 miles per hour, and really this evening they've been pretty light as well. Some areas like Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, a little bit more on the gustier side right now as we have a reading of around 15 miles per hour. But generally, we are going to continue to see these winds staying pretty light as we we go throughout the overnight hours for tonight. Taking a look at the high temperatures for today, we saw those into the 40s and 50s. 52 was our high at Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, 46 for us in Mount Pocono, and 55 in Williamsport. Temperatures right now, we're back into the 40s, currently 42 for us, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. Good evening, Mount Pocono, right at 32, 43 for us in Hazleton, and currently 44 in Pottsville. So tomorrow morning when we're waking up, it's not going to be as cold as what we were dealing with today. Well, we saw those temperatures into the teens and even 20s. We are going to start off more into the 30s. 30s for tomorrow morning, warming back up into the upper 50s and some areas will be reaching right around 60, but we will start with some cloud cover eventually breaking for some more sunshine as we go throughout the afternoon. So here's future cast. We have that weak disturbance moving through for tonight. That's mainly just bringing us some cloud cover, but still wouldn't be surprised if there is that raindrop or even a snowflake mixing in. But other than that, things are going to stay pretty quiet as we head into tomorrow morning. We'll still look for some lingering cloud cover, but then eventually breaking for some more sunshine as we go throughout our Easter Sunday. So those plans to be outdoors are looking really nice and pretty warm too. We'll see our highs back into the upper 50s to near 60 and things are remain quiet for us, especially as we head into Sunday night and also into Monday as well as we will continue to have a mostly sunny sky tonight with your eyewitness weather forecast looking for that passing shower, otherwise mostly cloudy temperatures for us into the lower and mid 30s. And as we head into Easter Sunday, like I mentioned, we'll start with some cloud cover before we do break for more sunshine as we go throughout the day. Still a little bit breezy at times with winds around 5 to 15 miles per hour and higher highs are reaching into the upper 50s to right around 60. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Things remain quiet for us over the next few days, especially for Tuesday. We'll see our highs right around 60 as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, looking for more of an isolated chance for a shower. Otherwise, we'll look for more clouds and sunshine, looking for a few more showers to return into the forecast as we head into the end of the week and into the start of next weekend. You can download the Eyewitness Weather app. Great to have with interactive radar. You get the latest forecast video and the severe weather alerts right to your phone and tablet. You can always find more by visiting our website at pahomepage.com. So